Hi guys, this is Tina here. I'm starting this series of video because some of you asked me on my YouTube channel on private messages to start making some app reviews, you know, about applications, what I like about some application, what I don't like, the best application you can find, the worst you can find, just from my point of view. And basically, I'm going to start with my actual phone, the Samsung Galaxy Note 2. And now I think if you have seen my review of the Galaxy Note 2, you're just wondering, I'm sorry man, you said you were about to move on to change your phone, you got the Nokia Lumia 925, but actually I tried the, the Lumia, it was just a good phone, it's beautiful, as you can see, it's a really great build quality, but I cannot stand with Windows Phone 8. I it misses all the features I, I actually need in my phone and if I cannot find application I need every day that's not my everyday phone basically so it has a good camera of course good with build quality but it just ends there the battery is not gonna last enough for me I cannot find all the application I need and some application I just try to find out something but they just don't work as I expected so I decided to sell back the Lumia 925 and stick back with my Galaxy Note 2 until maybe would come out something better so I'm actually thinking about the Samsung Galaxy S4 or the HTC One but just right now I'm fine with my old beast so let's go right into it as you can remember from my review or if you haven't seen my review on my Galaxy Note 2 I'm running the Android Revolution HD ROM by Mike1986 and this is basically a custom stock ROM because it's um, basically the same as the Touchwitz ROM from Samsung but it's lighter you can customize it completely if you can remove application add new applications and make it really light so uh, I just wiped out everything that was on my phone and I reinstalled the latest version of the Android Revolution HD, the number 18. And I'm gonna show you right now. Revolution HD. Then I stuck inside the Nova Launcher from the installation of the ROM itself. Just one page. And I have all the, the main application on the first page. And then I have three pages of the dock with the application I use. Uh, the most so basically this right here is a widget it's called super widget pro you can purchase it on the play store there are uh, different sizes and you can customize the size of the widgets you want then you maybe select just one stick in your own page tap it and then you're gonna choose then moving on the standard Facebook Instagram WhatsApp eBay and Gmail Gmail actually is working really well on Android and it's fine it's just it just had to be like that so I removed Google now Google Plus and all that application I don't use uh, very much on on the phone so I decided to make the the ROM lighter. I use Google Chrome as the main browser. It's not the best browser on this phone actually it uh, the standard browser is smoother than Google Chrome but I, I don't care about smoothness that much. So then I found this application 360 camera so just the first one done then you have to follow the the point the application gives you and here it is you can see right here it's basically cool it's not that bad and just for having some fun it's it's fine then i use mx player for the video and it basically plays every kind of video you can throw to then it then we have zip archiver so you can go through all the archive of your phone through all the folders take file move files delete files open them and it's very useful right here 
we have YouTube application by Google. It's fine. It works perfectly. As you as you know, it's just the best one. So now let's make some advertising of the channel. Then I found the I think the best audio player you can find. It just reproduces every kind of music, FLAC, Point Wav, and MP3, of course, and basically is this one so it's called power amp you can find the free version and then buy for just two and a half uh, dollars the pro version and you have all the songs in the library in your folders uh, you just can find every kind of song you have on the phone you just select what folders he has to to follow and actually the the style is very clean it just turn on if you want when you plug in your headphones and turn off when you disconnect the headphones and it's very very smooth so going through songs It just uh, runs very well, very smooth, as I said. And then you have this amazing look. You can customize anything. It's really cool. And you can add playlists and every kind of that thing. You can control it from your notification panel. And it's very cool about that. Then there is some features I really love. Headset icon, icon is just uh, nothing. I mean, it's really unuseful, but it's cool because when I connect my headphones, actually, you maybe know about that, the Bear Dynamic Custom One Pros, I just connect that, them to the phone. And then he said, Bear Dynamic Custom One Pros, and the music starts with no problems. So it's just for show offing, you know. Then Spotify, of course, everyone knows about Spotify. You can just uh, try it for a month and then purchase the full version. You can find music online, listen to music, download playlists. And then Spotify is going to search for you for music um, kind of similar to the one you love, to the one you listen to. So it's uh, very a great feature this application about the maps i'm using obviously google maps then i have maps with me this is just an offline map um, application you can download the offline map for free and you can find there is no navigation system on this application but you can find actually everything there is on the street on the in the city you are going and it's it's really really cool and this one is the map of Toronto then we have uh, the navigator is a navigation system I haven't used it at all uh, since I installed it but I will let you know how it works maybe in the next video then there is Kings of Toffees for the uh, documents so it can open every kind of Word, PowerPoint, or Excel um, document. So it's very cool. You can uh, modify the documents and send them and save them, anything. Well, actually, there is Pocket. You can save uh, online every kind of page and read it offline maybe later. It's very cool. And there is even the, the plugin for Google Chrome on your PC, on your Mac. Then there is the actual Adobe Reader. Everyone knows about Adobe Reader. Then there is Raffaello. It's just the application of my favorite theater. uTorrent, of course, you know uTorrent. Shazam, to know what kind of music you're listening to if you don't know the title. And Quadrant, it's just a benchmark application. Well, about the, the standard application, eBay, it's very well made you can do anything you can sell items buy something control all your all your messages the reminders and all the items you are looking to you are tipping you are uh, buying and it's you're watching and it's really well made 
Then Instagram, of course, it's everyone knows Instagram and it's basically, it works well, they improved and now you can even shoot videos on Instagram and it's, it's very cool about that. And well, I love this triple effect, I'm on the camera, I'm on the mirror, it's cool. And then Facebook, of course, Facebook is another must have application. And there is two on Windows Phone 8, but it's not really not that great. Well, basically, this is my phone. Maybe leave a comment down below about what do you think about the application I'm just using. If there is something better, I will definitely want to know. And uh, leave a thumbs up if you like and subscribe to the channel. So guys, thanks for watching. See you next time and cheers.